Hey guys, welcome back. I am GoldenEye, and in lieu of a vlog this week, I'm going to be talking about something people have been having a problem with, and that is YouTube notifications and why YouTube notifications suck. For those of you looking to fix the problems you've been having with your notifications, if you scroll down to the description, it will have a timestamp which you can use to jump to the fixing portion of this video. But really quick, the reason why YouTube notifications suck is because when they continue to make changes to their notification system, it's going to affect you and you may not even realize that it's affecting you while you're doing things. This sucks mainly for small YouTubers like me, because if you guys want to watch my stuff and you don't realize I'm uploading things daily, uh, obviously you're not going to watch my stuff and then I will get discouraged and stop posting. Uh, that's not really the truth for me, but it could be the truth for a lot of other people. And that's why a lot of them give up after, you know, so many months. One of the big things content creators talk about is why you hit that subscribe button. And YouTube thinks that people hit the subscribe button just because they want to hit it. But content providers feel that people hit the subscribe button because they want notifications. So YouTube, since they got it all wrong and Google thinks that, you know, hitting subscribe means nothing, they actually won't give you notifications when you want them anymore. You hit the subscribe button, you actually have to hit the bell as well to get this, uh, those notifications. But uh, I think it's set automatically to occasional and you have to set it to all the time if you really want to watch your stuff. Occasional can mean nothing. I, I mean, I've, I've had it set to occasional before for some people and I would get things maybe once a week, uh, once every two weeks, something like that. So you need to make sure you hit that bell now. Unfortunately, that's just how it works. That's what people want, I guess. That's what Google thinks they want, at least. If you don't want that, then definitely submit reviews saying you don't want that. If you wanna hit the subscribe button, it should automatically set to all, that, that should be shown to Google. But let's jump into trying to fix some of the problems you guys have been having. Um, if you're not familiar with the desktop, you use your phone. I will talk about the phone a little bit, but I'm gonna work on the desktop right now. You get your notifications on the top right up here by the bell. Uh, when you click it, you'll see all the notifications that you have and you can scroll through. I don't know how far back it goes, but you can see, yeah, it looks like it keeps on loading. I don't know how far it goes, but this is where you're supposed to get your notifications. These top people that I have right here, I'm sure you all know them, John Wolf, Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Jack Septicide. I, I used to get notifications from them and actually stopped giving me notifications. I don't know why, but I have theories on why. One theory that I feel is the most probable reason is the fact that whenever these would pop up and I didn't watch them, I would slide them off of my phone. After I did that, you know, for three, four weeks, maybe five weeks, YouTube's like, he's not watching these videos that we're pushing out, so it may have automatically silenced these. That does not mean it silenced it in my notification settings. And that, that is a huge problem that they need to fix. Because when I went in there and it showed that I had my notifications set to all, but I wasn't getting the notifications, clearly that was causing a problem because I didn't know what was going on. I thought there was something broken with YouTube, but it may actually be adjusting because you're not clicking on any of the links that are coming through. So if you end up stopped watching a YouTuber for about two, three months, four months maybe, and you're sliding away all their notifications each time they popped up, that could be the big problem there. And that's, that's the problem that I had. The other thing that can probably be is just a bug. They keep on implementing new things with notifications. So if you were set up before they did their updates to the notification system, like these guys I've had set up for quite a while, uh, as soon as they did an update, it may have broke these, so they no longer sent me notifications, but anyone knew it would have sent me notifications. But then when I reset these guys, it ended up fixing the notifications. But I'm gonna go into how to reset that, and I'm gonna try to discuss how to reset that and also the Android phone and the iPhone, but I won't have a visual, I'll just be telling you from more of a guide standpoint, and I'll bring up Google's guide on that to help you with that. But let's start with the desktop first. So when you're on your homepage, you're going to see all of this, and you wanna go up to your account and click Settings. Settings will take you into this area and you want to click notifications, which is over on the left. See it right here. And you're going to see a whole bunch of options here. This area doesn't really matter for you guys. So I'm going to skip over that and unsubscribe. It's just telling you hit the unsubscribe link. If you don't want to receive these emails, we'll skip that. But channel subscriptions, that's a big one. Um, I have it set to push an email. Email, if you do this, you'll at least get an email and I've never seen that break yet. So I do recommend that you do push and email. So then if you don't get the push notification up here on the top right, you'll at least get the email and you can watch it later. If you're using Google, it puts it in your social media tab. Um, or if you don't have those tabs, it should just put it right into your inbox. But I recommend using those tabs. It sorts it out a little bit. Uh, the other options are push only, email only, none. Make sure it's not sent to none. Um, if you want to push out to your phone, push only is what you'll want but email obviously sends you an email but i'm gonna leave that push and email uh, i'll go over manage all subscriptions in just a second we're gonna go down to these other notifications 
So notification would be recommended videos. These are not recommended videos by the people you subscribe to. This can be any recommended videos that it thinks you'll like. Could be trending videos and stuff like that. So that's why that's unchecked for me. But then any activity that I have, activity on my comments, replies to my comments, activity on other channels and mentions. I make sure I got those checked. That's more so I know what's going on with you guys and what you're thinking about my stuff and I can reply back as soon as possible. You can have those checked if you want. Um, you don't really need to. It's really up to you on that point. But let's go over and uh, manage all subscriptions. This is the very important part to this. So when you click manage subscriptions, you're getting into here and you can see I don't have a ton of people I subscribe to. I highly recommend that if you subscribe to like thousands of people, you kind of cut the fat. If you don't watch some of those, like I do recommend unsubscribing. You can go into here and you can start unsubscribing for people you don't listen or don't watch. If you know you'll watch them at some point, you can adjust your notifications so you start getting reminded to watch them because some of them you might be like, oh, I forgot this guy even made videos. And it's because your notifications are a little wonky and we can work on that. Uh, so what you can end up doing, and if for whatever reason, the first this first option doesn't work, try unsubscribing, giving it, you know, a minute and then resubscribing to their channel and then saying notifications that way that might fix the problem too but we're going to start with this uh, next to here you'll see there's a bell so if i want to re receive notifications all the time you want to make sure the bell is set to the ringing mode but we'll go ahead and click this so we got athlete next right here i'm going to click the bell you can see i've subscribed to this and it's automatically set to occasional make sure it's not set to none unless you don't want anything you just want to be subscribed but you need to check it to all you can also uh, include creator posts. So if they post to their YouTube channel on the creator page, um, you'll get those as well. You can uncheck that if you don't want those, but you can see it even says, you're notified through push an email and then it tells you where to change that. You guys already know where to change that. Uh, I'm gonna leave that occasional because I only wanna see that sometimes. I, the reason I'm subscribed to them actually is because I like them showing up in my feed on my main page. That's the reason to subscribe to someone without actually receiving all the notifications. Maybe you'd like to watch their stuff occasionally, but you don't want to receive every notification. That's why occasional is good. If you subscribe though, I don't recommend doing none. That's kind of like pointless in my opinion. Now for these guys though, you can see that I have them set to all. So for whatever reason you're having an issue with this, I recommend sending to none, saving, close out of your web browser, come back in, Go to all, and I'm gonna include the creator post even though he doesn't put creator post anyway, at least not that I noticed. Uh, click save, and then you'll have it reset. Make sure you do close out of the browser though because there could be an issue where it doesn't actually update unless you close the browser. Uh, and you wanna close all the browsers. You can't just close the one that you're in. Make sure you close all of them so Google Chrome or whatever you're in is completely closed out, and then you can do that. Like I said, if you have a problem where that doesn't fix it, I do recommend unsubscribing, doing the same thing where you close out of the browser, go back in after a minute or two and then resubscribe. It'll look funny on their feed, especially for these small YouTubers. But if you really want to watch their stuff, I do recommend that you do that because it's just overall, it's going to be better, especially if you want to support, support the small guys like me. Now, the next thing you want to check, but you will already notice this when you're looking around is you want to make sure you're signed into the right account. Obviously I'm signed into golden Knight. This is an incognito window. I want you to see my other accounts, but you want to make sure you're signed into the correct account. This sometimes changes and you could be on the wrong account, which would make sense why your bell isn't giving you any notifications because it's the wrong account. If you have multiple accounts that have the same logo, make sure you click on the account and make sure it actually has your email. There's one other setting I wanted to go over. Um, when you're in an incognito window, you can't see this. You have to be in your original window. So I'm not incognito anymore. And you can see right here, you have desktop notifications. So if you want your notifications to push to your actual desktop, like for instance, uh, if you're on Windows 10, you'll get Cortana notifications. You wanna click this to turn on and then you'll get a drop down right up here. And it will say, do you wanna allow this? You click allow and it allows Chrome or YouTube to push notifications from here to your desktop so you can see that stuff. So if you wanted that, you can do that too. I don't think that's the issue a lot of people are having though. I think it's more with the notifications up here with this bell. Now for the Android and the iPhone, it's generally similar. I'll tell you exactly where to go to find your settings, but uh, YouTube actually created their own help guide. I'll make sure I put this in the description below so you can follow it if you need to, but it recommends that you check your account you're signed into, which we talked to already, and it tells you how to do that. Uh, this is really important because on your phone, sometimes you'll have multiple accounts and whichever one is used more will be the one that will push notifications to your phone. I have multiple accounts on my phone and I always use the Golden Knight one. So I get my push notifications for Golden Knight. Uh, although I do have other accounts, they do not get those push notifications because the YouTube one that, ha I, that I use the most is the one that will push out the notifications. It does not push for all of them. 
So if for whatever reason you do have multiple accounts and you use one of them more than the other one, make sure the one you use more is the one that you subscribe to channels to push notifications. It doesn't mean you have to watch it on that channel, but because you can always switch, but it will be the one that pushes out those notifications to inform you of what's going on. So always check your account you're signed into. So you can also check your notification settings. Uh, you go into your YouTube app, you click the three dots in the top right, you go to settings and tap notifications. That's the same thing as doing in the browser. So if you feel like the browser would be easier on a desktop computer, you can sit down your desktop, set, the, set all the settings, and then you'll be good to go. But if you use strictly your phone, this is how you can get to it. So you can set your notifications and everything's set the same. And I've just follow what I said previously to fix your problems there. Uh, check your device settings. So this is your phone settings itself, because if it's turned off here, you won't receive notification settings. You want to go into the Android settings app, which is the gear. Usually click like the home button at the bottom or something like that, that brings up all of your apps. Then you can go into settings, you tap notifications, and then check the box to receive notifications for the YouTube stuff. It should have a couple of notifications there, but make sure you have your YouTube set to on. And then it also says check your channel settings, but we already did this in the browser, so I'm not gonna go over that. iPhone is basically exactly the same. We check the account you're signed into. The one that you use the most is obviously the one that's going to push the notifications. Check your app settings inside YouTube itself. And then you wanna check your device settings. And to get into there, you wanna open up settings app, and then tap notifications, go to YouTube, and make sure allow notifications turned on. iPhones are a little bit trickier than Android phones because they require like a lot of clicking to uh, set it up. When you first do it though, it should just automatically pop up on the iPhone, but you need to make sure you set this. If it's not set to allow notifications, it will block all your notifications. So if you use an iPhone, make sure you have that set. And then of course, check your channel settings, make sure your notifications are actually turned on and they're actually set to all. And if they are, make sure it's not that bug. So like I said, you want to un uh, turn off notifications completely, close out your browser, go back into your browser, turn notifications back on to all, and include creator posts if you want. Um, and then if that doesn't work, like I said, unsubscribe, close out of the browser, go back into the browser, resubscribe, and then hit the bell on the notification thing, and that should hopefully fix your problems. Unfortunately, if this doesn't solve your problem, you're gonna have to go to the community forum and post something and see if a YouTube associate will actually help you solve your problem because this is, when I did this, it actually fixed my problem and I was receiving all of my notifications and I tested it on several phones. I have two, I have a work phone and then my personal and then my fiance also has a phone. We tested it on all of those and it worked on all of them. So hopefully this does fix your problem. Um, if it does, please hit a like down below and then comment saying it fixed it. If it doesn't, you're welcome to give me more information in the comments below and I will try to look into it. If I can uh, recreate the problem, uh, I can help you fix it. Unfortunately, it's harder to recreate it when it's working for me, but it doesn't mean I can't try. So if uh, you can say that you tried all that stuff and then maybe just try some other things, I don't recommend uninstalling the YouTube app. I don't think that's going to fix anything. Um, I, I guess you can also try signing out of your YouTube account and then re-signing back in. That might help fix it because maybe the push notifications are a little bit wonky. Uh, but if you are using multiple YouTube accounts, I think that might be your biggest problem. Um, I think it's just getting confused. I really hope this helped you out, guys. If it did, just remember to hit that like button. It does help me a lot, a lot more than you think. But thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, who's on?